Hello, everybody. I'm going to give a little talk here in honor of my 80th birthday. So since it's a sort of momentous moment, I thought that I would talk about um, death. Nice, cheerful subject. But actually, uh, I really want to talk about death because so many people fear it. And it's really not something that needs to be feared. And the same with aging, actually. So suppose you're 20 years old and you're listening to this and you think, who needs to hear about this? But actually, the younger you are, the better, because I'm going to talk about it as something that you can prepare for um, throughout your whole life. So I was introduced to this idea a long time ago by my principal teacher, Chogyam Trungpa Rinpoche. And he, he gave a seminar that was entitled Death in Everyday Life. And in that seminary, seminar, he talked about uh, that every breath is a small birth and death. That birth and death are taking place moment by moment by moment. And I remember when I heard this, my first reaction was actually a sort of feeling of panic because there was something about, I think I really got it, that, uh, that everything is changing and shifting all the time. Born, dies, born, dies. And so it left me with this feeling of immense groundlessness. That was my first reaction to this little teaching. And so in retrospect, I think that was really great because that's what you want to get in touch with if, in fact, you want to prepare for death. Now, even if you are uh, 18, 19, 20, 16, however old you are, up to you know, 90, 95, uh, you, this is very valuable uh, teachings because it's teaching you not to just be uh, preparing for your death, the kind of death of this body, death of this particular incarnation, this particular, in my case, Pema Chodron. Um, um, but it's preparing you for uh, fear of groundlessness throughout your entire life and overcoming or relating with that fear of groundlessness. So. Moment by moment, I've been training for many, many, many years in relaxing uh, with that feeling of groundlessness, uh, but really taking it seriously that um, I was reading recently about life being as brief as a dewdrop on a blade of grass, which is such a beautiful expression. And you know, at my age, it definitely feels like that. It feels like our life uh, is incredibly short. And you've heard, I'm sure, about that people die and they have like a life review where they remember their entire life. Well, that's already sort of starting to happen to me uh, at 80 years old, that uh, my whole life feels like that, gone, you know, just in a finger snap. And all those many, many adventures and dramas, oh, heavy duty dramas of my life and everything, just like, all just like, Fast, move, fast forward, moving so quickly. And then I have a feeling, okay, 80 years old? Maybe I'll live to 90 years old. I'm not at all eager to live to 90 years old. But that is 10 years. 10 years is really short. And very, very short. So that could throw me into a total panic, you know? But in fact... I, I've been preparing for years, so I am not afraid of death. I'm not afraid of groundlessness. I'm not afraid of death. So does that mean that I don't feel fear? I mean, this is kind of a ironic or something. It doesn't mean that, actually, because whenever groundlessness comes up in a major way, there's always a sort of a little bit of a, oh, like that, you know, a little, oh, but that's it. That's it. It's just like a little blurb of, uh, what, that you might feel just before you jump out of the airplane, you know, when you have your parachute, but still terrifying moment. And then, um, but maybe it's not that 
it's not as extreme as that. Maybe when you're actually uh, leaving this particular body, it might be that kind of, oh. but the fact is then you just relax, learning to relax into that whole thing. So each moment is a birth, fresh, new. That's a beautiful experience of life. Each moment is a death. It's gone, you know, so precious, so fleeting, like, like my life. It's all, you know, just from the time I was this little baby in photographs that I have no memory of, uh, to, oh, oh my goodness, my 20s and all the drama of the 20s and my whole story, you know, which many of you have heard so many times that it's like not very interesting anymore. And, uh, but all I'm saying is it just, just like that. So I'm so glad I've been preparing. I'm so delighted I've been preparing. And so getting used to groundlessness now, and as I say, it doesn't mean there's not fear, but it's like a moment, and then you, it's a feeling of like relaxing into it. It's, it takes a while to get the hang of it, but just relaxing into it. Just instead of, well, the first moment of panic is aversion, pulling back, and then it's more like you just lean forward and you relax into it. And then there's this immense feeling of it moving through you and uh, the fear is gone and there's just that sense of that things are moving, things are impermanent, thing, there's nothing really to hold on to, and that's a, a very precious experience of life. It's not like a, a dismal. In fact, it's a, you know, maybe like Van Gogh experience of seeing things very vibrantly and uh, everything very alive and precious. And you appreciate details, you appreciate other people a lot, and, and you appreciate the sadness and the tragedies and the uh, ugly things that are happening and the beauty of life, the whole complexity. So, um, so at this point, uh, uh, Zia Control um, Rinpoche, who I'm uh, working with, um, my beloved friend and teacher, he uh, has a prayer that we do as students. And uh, it uh, goes, and part of it goes like this. When the appearances of this life dissolve, may I with ease and great happiness let go of all attachment to this life like a son or daughter returning home. <laughs>